If you are following along, you know I am using Node Server. I will open index.html and main.js files. Please watch previous day video tutorial if you haven't already, a link to which is present on your screen right now. We have linked phaser library and main.js in the header, have added technotip.main to state manager and have started the main state. So this is our state code by the way. Well let us run the server and look at the output in our browser. So this is the same output we got in our previous day video tutorial and we are continuing from there. So if you haven't already, please visit the link and watch that video tutorial and follow the tutorial series. I'll just remove the first image here and I'll, for simplicity sake, I'll just have one image for this video tutorial. And also some people asked me how we can center the image to the game stage that is game world. We use this dot world dot center x for x axis and this dot world dot center y for y axis. This would exactly center the image to the game stage. Have a look. Okay, now let us add some text at the top of the game stage using this dot add dot text method. So this is, I'll give 100 for x axis and maybe 10 to y axis. And and the third parameter is the actual text and the fourth parameter is styling information. I'll give some my score, something like this, a placeholder for now. And it's displayed there. Then somebody asked me if, uh, if we can use var keyword like in regular JavaScript instead of this keyword. I'll show it to you. So I'll take this, oh sorry, I'll take var logo and var text and remove this, this keyword wherever I have this dot logo in this state. So I'll assign the variable text to our text we generated just now. Let's see how it looks on the browser. Well, before that, let me enable input to this logo on this logo for that logo dot input enabled is equal to true. Now let's add the event that is logo dot. There are many events in that I want on input down event. Once somebody clicks on the on the image, I'll call a function called score. Remember, we need to add this dot score to our custom methods, which we want to define in this state. Also, remember to pass in the reference keyword that is this. Now I'll define the method score. So here, I will take the variable text dot its text property that is the third parameter. I'll give my updated score. Let's see how it works. 
when it displays at first it will show my score once i click on the image it will the text will update to my updated score oops we have some error here rotation okay we have this dot logo we need to remove this keyword here and everything seems to be right okay let's test once again and it's working once i click on the image the text gets updated now i'll remove this text and leave this empty once someone clicks i'll update this text also i'll show you how to pass in parameter for this custom function it must be an object whatever you pass the parameter should be an object i'll take a key key called points and assign it a value of 0 and once the user clicks on the image i'll increment this value so i'll write this dot points plus plus that is increment for each user click on the image let's see how it works once i click the score is 0 whenever i click on the image the score gets incremented by 1 so in this video tutorial you learned how to make use of var keyword within the state the variables within the state and how to enable input on images and add on input down event and to write custom methods and to increment the values upon click event please share this video with your friends on linkedin facebook twitter stumble upon google plus etc stay subscribed to our youtube channel as well as our blog technotip.com and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you